Yo, Aya. From Mambana, this is a foundation from Mandaya. But it's a top team, man. Not a good thing, you see me. That's what we say. Move, fuck, move. Me, I try. Try to kill no tenna. Where you want to know where you want to go there. He's brown, da. Up your ass, hey. In a mix and what it's a. I have a tool in the road. Me walk the lock. We a bro. Just to tell me stuff. So what the wind will look like. So I mean, low and pain. Smack for me. But we a face hell. Can't find no work. No coffee go sell. All me see a dead house and jail cell. Mad for the can road and face death. Don't me hear a vice a dog. Yo, we take. There's more to life. So we just sit. The last ten me a poor face angel. Force them ancient. The most high enforcement we then. So why Babylon a fight? Get to you and kill so much great men. Then no them men sleep with poor parents. Everything me tell. That means me vote them waste then. Them no want to get up the rise. Them only come wrong when they need the support like fake friends. We just try escape them. We just a wait for the pass with placement. Hey Shalom, y'all bash me out shy, brock it thumb. Y'all shamalatan bash me out shy. This prison officer of a thousand eyes of ab. You already know the thing already. I know you are wondering, why are we broadcasting on a Monday, huh? <laughs> You're trying to figure it out. <laughs> Yo, just come in here, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know what I mean? Like and share, you know what I mean? We got some special guests with us today, you know what I mean? Uh, we're going to be talking about, um, I'm not going to give it away. We're going to be talking about certain things. You know what I mean? Uh, big up to all the brothers and sisters in the UPK, man. You already know the thing, go. Yo, Aya. From Mamban, just pay a separation from Mandaya. But then set up them things to man dead in the garrison, you see me? And that's why we say, more fire, more fire. It was a try, try to make you... In the meantime, between time, just listen to the music before we start the broadcast. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the broadcast has already started, you know what I'm saying? Before we uh, introduce our guests and everything like that. You know what I mean? We're going to be going in today. So just like and share and subscribe. You know what I mean? We're on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, everywhere. You know what I mean? we got a heavy, powerful brother. You know what I mean? Coming on in a minute. You know what I mean? He's going to talk to us about something that, you know what I mean, we all need to know about. You know what I mean? Under Commander General Johanna. So just stay tuned. Let's, let's, let's run some music in the meantime, between time. So why Babylon a fight get to you and kill so much great men? Them not them men sleep with poor parents, everything they sell. That means them be both them waste Them no one, they get up the rise, them only come down when they need the support like fake friends. Yeah, yeah. One west to the dead. <laughs> Yo, Aya. Anytime bad man roll out a be a dead body. Hey, Z. What the mood, girl? Don't bother with the attitude. Me come over, pay bring your gratitude. Your body big and wrong, got it on latitude. What it do? Watch your foot. And the music. From our brother from Jamaica. Think they mad and move me dark. They might kill a dog. You know what you news. Cause you are the one. We make bad flick like cinema flick. We end up cheap. Bitch party. We know me that from a DC my dis them regret that quick when them see the shotty roll out but you know about gun shot a fly through face and bore nose hey we make back flick like cinema flick we head top chip pitchy pa chip yes I don't land lad move the circle your ends when you don't bam bam don't go pull it up 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 yeah yeah one west to the dead you know what? I'm 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 gonna pause this song because you know, I don't want to give away all the good stuff. You know what I mean? You all gotta purchase this stuff, man. You know what I mean? I'm I'm, I'm gonna throw in one more. You know what I mean? Before we start, you know what I mean? Let's do it. Yeah. To all who see the evil. Yeah, and they ain't say nothing about it. I S U P K. 
Who the apocalypse rage for kill body boy and cat on the bridge? Catch the lead, back on the beat, chop it up, wrap it up, back on the game, rock on the teeth. Man stand firm, pump, buckle feel all when them shackle with feet. All when death look certain, all when nothing no sweet, when I act to fit, you have some rasp boy who neglect the woman, child and fuck white girl. You have some past boy where you have blessed the little children. Yo. Y'all see who we got on the screen, man. Come on, man. Y'all know what's, what time it is. Y'all know what's going on, man, in Israel, man. You know what I mean? The brothers will come on in a minute. You know what I mean? Let's just run through this song and then, you know what I mean? They'll give the introduction and then we'll get straight into it. You know what I'm saying? Them over the years, breaking news. Over the years, millions is but nobody there yeah. to give a count. Nobody, nobody that comes. So brother and auntie uh, just come full up in my account. We don't give a fuck how much blood the money you are earned. Man, still one baby and burn. You are so our turn for rule upon earth. Most time me and me get send that me junk curse. Fun the oppressor. Fun me and bam it and worse. Feed them man. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Like Say something. Church, one way, see. Pay your ties while you're at it. With the flies and the roach, my youth better watch your approach. Careful how you talk to me on Facebook, Twitter, and mind where you post. Shout it out from coast to coast. You became the truth till my vice get hoarse. Saving the lives of our people, waking them up, teaching the ancient scrolls. Gather together yourself, every one of the twelve. Tired of living in hell, two million we locked up in cells. What the fuck is that smell? Our babies in cages. This shit is outrageous. They stole our lives, deporting our brothers. Our kids with no fathers. You pick it, we got the plan. Fuck all these demigods, their crimes and treachery. Teaching my people these heresies. Who built America? You spilled the blood of my family. Got them slavery. While you shake hands with enemies, our people destroyed out here. Tax checks, welfare, shit. I smell that weed in the we air. Don't give a fuck how much blood clot money you are earn, man. Still want my bill and burn. You are so our turn for rule upon earth. Most time me, I beg you, send damage and curse. Fun the oppressor, famine and bombing and worse. Feed some man. And worm. While them pussy they lock up them church one best yes, I lit and that mean and firm. Yes. yes. Uh, uh. Hey Shalom Yao Bashimi out shy brock thumb. Yao Shamalatan Bashimi out shy. You know what I'm saying? This person offers of a thousand eyes uh unplugged from the matrix. You know what I mean? This is a special edition. You know what I mean? I got two heavy brothers, you know what I mean, wonderful, excellent brothers in here with me today. And um, they're going to be talking about something that, um, you know I mean, uh, all people need to know about. Um, uh, if, if your brothers would, could, if, if, if you if you want to, I, I don't know the rank, so <laughs> Salakia. Um, go ahead and introduce yourselves. Oh, shit, hold up. Put my bling out real quick. There you go. There you go. <laughs> this is, this is, uh, Austin the Shock My Thought, Austin 5000 Shock My Thought, man, from Tennessee. Most high in Christ. Yeah, I'm Officer Thousand uh Naquam from Nashville School and the Chattanooga School. Most high in Christ. And, and today our brothers are here with us on from on 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 unplugged from the matrix because um uh 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 brother Masha, um Nishak Salakia um he's hosting a lecture down there and he's gonna give us some details, you know. What I mean, some of the stuff that he's gonna be going over, touching, not going all the way in on the lecture, but just touching, you know what I mean, on, on different subjects or, you know what I mean, talking points of the lecture and any other stuff that they would like to bring out, give us more information about that. Also, um, if, if there's any, like, stories or breaking news or stuff going down there in Tennessee, you know what I'm saying, that we would need to know about, the brother's going to, you know I mean, let us know what's going on down there. And and it, it's, it's yours, sir. Go ahead. Cool. My son of Christ. Um... Well, yeah, we got like a um, banging lecture. Uh, I think, man, I'd be confusing the dates, but I think it's July the 16th. That's right. Oh, yeah, July the 16th, um, burning the Bible bell, right? And uh, what I wanted to touch on was uh, where the Bible, but the history of the Bible belt, where it came from, what is it, and how is it affecting Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians? And also in the lecture, we'll be, uh, we'll be touching on what is critical race theory. And the main point is a lot of our people don't know what it is. Like they don't, like they heard of what, heard of the Bible Belt. They heard of, um, you know, they, they, they heard it is down south, but you really don't know what it is. So uh, I've been trying to work on this thing, man. You can ask Officer Naquan, man. I've been trying to work this thing for about two or three years. Right. Uh, just research-wise. Right. And, and um. 
you know, I just some just Emmy was just like, go ahead and just just run it, man. Do it, do it now. So um excuse me, I'm trying to get a little power here. Okay. So um so yeah, that, that's basically what it is. Um uh, why why I want to do it and why I think it's important because um the Bible belt is like it's a very divisive and evil tool used by white supremacy. And what it is, is basically they take a lot of, they take uh, people, what people believe in as far as religion and Christianity, and they take that and they use very charismatic uh, speakers and preachers, and they use them as a tool to control the people. And once they control the people, they, um, they end up using that as power to control them and use them for political power right. or uh, any kind of agenda that they want to pass or any kind of thing that anything that they want to basically numb the people with or control the people with. And the main ways they did it is through blacks and Hispanics and native Indians. And um, uh, 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 one that, that, that comes to mind real quick, is if you ever see in movies, it'd be like these little white tents. And it's always these preachers with these little snakes and people are gathered around like in the middle of a field and they all trying to, it's like, and they all trying to um, uh, uh, hear this, this word from this preacher, right? That's exactly what the Bible Belt is. The Bible Belt spreads from uh, Tallahassee from the tip of Florida to the Midwest, by Iowa in that area, mm-hmm. and it goes all the way over to the Carolinas, and it goes as high as up to um, probably like we'll say Kentucky, and it's so prevalent in 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 the South because in the South there's such a it's so, like our people have such a need for 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 the, really for the truth, but we've been lied to by white supremacy, so. Right. They've always used that. I mean, all the way since Roman Catholic Church, and they're using it in 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 the South as a way to control us. That's why most 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 Christians don't even know the, the Bible. They don't have to know the Bible. All they have to do is convince us. And when I say us, our, our brothers and sisters in the world, convince us that we supposed to follow them. Christ is white. God is white. White people are the 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 basically the chosen people that's gonna lead us to the promised land, and our people believe it, and we've been believing it since I mean the time of slavery, and and uh, they would even use uh, black preachers to to uh, to to push this agenda, like uh, a, 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 a systematic way that they would do it is if you ever heard of something called the Negro Project. And the Negro Project was started by Margaret Sanger, which is the mother of abortions. You know what I'm saying? And then the Negro Project, they would take preachers, send them down south, and push the agenda of sterilization and abortions. How? By listening to the preacher. The preacher has always been a tool to use to control our people. Black Hispanics and Native Indians have always known that they they like we've always known in our inward parts, we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be following the God. We know that. We just don't want to obey laws. So Christianity is very easy. It's, it's, it's very easy to be a Christian. Like, you don't have to obey no laws. You can do what you want to do. only thing you got to do is just go on Sunday and pay your tithes. You can be a hoe all through the week. You can be a drug dealer all through the week. You can be a homosexual all through the week. All, all right. you got to do is go to church, uh, jump and dance like you got bouncing jelly beans in your damn pants or some ants in your pants <laughs> and, and, and uh, pay your tithes and pay the sin. So uh, burning a Bible belt is, is, is the title is exactly what it is. We're trying to burn and destroy something that is destroying us. Right. The, the Bible belt is destroying us as a people because it's confusing us on, on what, what truly the Bible is and who it's for. It, it is hurting us because we have our oppressor using it as a tool to keep us down. So in the lecture, I'll be breaking down like so many thorough things. I, I give you a, a tidbit right here. 
like during the time of slavery, uh, you know, like like you got Juneteenth going on right now that comes from where Abraham Lincoln was supposed to have emancipated all the slaves and all this and stop stop uh us from working on the uh cotton fields and all that. I'm gonna show you in a lecture where the Lord created an insect to destroy the cotton fields. And that's something that don't nobody ever talk about. The Lord created an insect right around that same time that destroyed the cotton uh industry. And it and, and, and it was something that 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 white supremacy could not control and they couldn't even understand how to do it. But it totally uh destroyed part of their industry, which was the, one of the main reasons why uh the cotton uh industry kind of lost its its uh it, it had a serious momentum and it lost its momentum in the south due to this one insect and that's just one of the little tidbits one of the little things that that our people need to understand that man the lord can take an insect and destroy white supremacy can destroy a whole nation destroy a whole a whole country the lord uh trump called it um uh what do you call it the unseen enemy the invisible enemy. The invisible enemy. Yeah. He he took uh uh something that's unseen and brought America to his knees to where it's suffering to this day over the COVID. So even though our people are confused and the priests and the and the prophets of the Lord are here to teach and help our people, even in our people's ignorance, the Lord has so much mercy that he still is pushing for us and he still fights for us. So the main reason why uh, this this uh, lecture is so important is because I'm going to be bringing out a lot of different details about what it is, like that map you just showed. I actually have a, a picture of that map also. And it's crazy that it's in red because it shows you that this thing has been, is burning the South. And it's so big that it's not just in the south you gotta realize there's also something called the uh southern baptist convention the southern baptist convention headquarters is in nashville tennessee mm. and the southern baptist convention headquarters is one of the was birthed from the bible belt it was about a whole bunch of really it started from the south uh you had a, a, a southern baptist convention then you had the north and they were doing the same thing they wanted to come together the only thing that stopped them from doing that was the fact that the South didn't want to give up its slaves, right. but they wanted to come together as a whole and create a, a type of organization to where you could control all these churches. Cause there's like, I want to say, um, I think it's a hundred and forty four thousand. No, not 144,000. It's 14, uh, 14 million or 14,000. If I get my, my terms right, I think it's 14 million though different churches involved with the southern baptist convention that's how much power it is it's, now here's the here's, yeah, sir. Uh, if i may um so yeah. so you say you're saying that there are 14 million churches in right. america who participate specifically to perpetuate this indoctrination of our people um within the bible belt basically Come exactly and, and and with and with the all these churches that's involved with this, here's the kicker. Now they'll tell you that, and I'm kind of simultaneously looking up the stacks to make sure I'm right. But uh, here's the kicker about that Southern Baptist Convention. The Southern Baptist Convention right now has 44 cases of sexual harassment, mm. and these and these cases of sexual harassment are are a lot of children. Children involved with this, women involved with this. Wouldn't surprise me if it's men involved also. Right. Now, how the Southern Baptist is getting out of it right now is they're saying that, okay, the Southern Baptist Convention is formed by all these churches. And with these churches, these churches have a say-so on different rules and how all these just different churches move. Like when you've seen that uh, when the COVID came and started shutting down the churches, they was trying to have a voice that we need to stay open. We don't need to close. Why? Because the preachers would lose their money. Now, right. what happened was they were going against the rules. Remember all that six feet, six feet, this and that. Now, 
they were supposed to go according to the law of, of, of America. You're supposed to be in six feet and you're supposed to have these gatherings. The churches with the Southern Baptist Convention was pushing against that. And they had preachers pushing against that and congregating in these churches anyway. And what ended up happening was the preachers started getting the COVID and the COVID started spreading even more. But they were doing it because they had the backing of the Southern Baptist Convention. Now, this, which is like this entity that, that takes up for them. Right. So with this Southern Baptist Convention thing, which is part of the Bible Belt, it's another branch on how they can control things and go against the laws of, of America. They can create mm -hmm. their own laws. Now, how the Southern Baptist Convention gets out of that is just like these uh, sexual harassment lawsuits coming up. They now these churches have to pay a certain amount of fees to be in the Southern Baptist Convention. Now they're saying what the Southern Baptist Convention says is what those churches do, that's on them. We're not affiliated with that. They just pay to be one of in our membership. Mm. So that's how they're trying to shake their way up out of that. So it's basically like if this church is doing that, we're not affiliated, we just take their money. And, and they're part of our governing mm. uh, body. That's how they're trying to slip out of those things. But the Southern Baptist Convention, uh, we had uh, uh, Captain Cahun, uh, um in Nashville was in, it was a big convention here in Nashville. Like I said, this is their headquarters. And we went down there and was having camp. All right. And Captain Cahun was, was man, mm. strategically slicing mm. uh, these group of uh, preachers, white preachers that stepped up and admitted that black people don't have a say right. in the Southern Baptist Convention. They say what we allow them to say, even if they go against what they believe in the Southern Baptist Convention. So that's the type of things that we're going to talk about. Uh, we're going to break down in detail on what these things are. And in the second part or the second half, of um of the lecture is going to be critical race theory and critical race theory i'm excuse excuse me too with the southern baptist convention it was more on critical race theory so like the, um when we when uh captain Cahun was down there he was addressing the critical race theory um part of what the uh, southern baptist was pushing they was and basically the critical race theory thing in a nutshell so our people could understand quickly without any um um, real detail is critical race theory is basically telling the truth of what happened to blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians in history. Right. That's what it is. You know, they don't have the truth like we have, but it's on the lines of, of you didn't just come from slavery on boats like we always taught in high school. That's That's not your history. And it talks about all the atrocities. It goes deeper into the atrocities on what white supremacy have done. So of course, white supremacy don't want us to speak on, don't want them to speak on that, don't want to allow critical race theory to, to exist. That's why you had so many uh parents in the public school systems picketing and and, and protesting against that because they children coming home, and even the white children is like, man, mom, why didn't you tell me this? I don't understand. Like, I, I never knew what we were doing to them. No, nah, you didn't, because your mom and daddy wanted you to just understand that you just blessed. And highly favored, right? Like you, like you have a um, what they call it, uh, white privilege, right? Your, your white privilege was just because you are who you are. When blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians have bled and 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 and, and shed tears and have died for you to live off of cotton money to this day, right? So of course they don't want to admit what critical race theory is. So Southern Baptist Convention would not let. Our brothers and sisters speak on that and they lost a lot of black um members due to that right so, so, good good brother I, I was just gonna add to what the brother was saying um uh, well first of all um i know you was coming off the top of the head with the numbers but the numbers uh were actually 14 million was actually the amount of uh, members that they have inside of the southern baptist and what and um, but yeah, the what, what the brother bringing out is heavy because it, it with the Bible Belt, it's you know, if you want to do anything 
to black America, the first place you should go is to the epicenter of all niggerdom. And that's mm -hmm. the South. That's the, the South is the epicenter of all niggerdom. So you want to start there. It's like he was bringing out about the um, about the Negro project. You know, they brought the Negro project down south because down south, that's the epicenter. And then you have migration patterns that happen throughout the United States. They all started from the south, though. So if you can teach people a certain way to live in the south, then they're going to take it to those other places. You know, they're going to take it to the east coast. They're going to take it up north. They're going to take it to the west coast. You know, so that's, you know, why what he's bringing out is so heavy. It's, it's so important that they attack the South first, mm -hmm. you know. And if you um, brothers and sisters who live down South, you know, majority, the vast majority of the of the states down South are conservative, so-called conservative states. Mm -hmm. So they, they are all in conjunction with one another, you know, one way or the other. So, you know, that's how um, a lot. And I don't know exactly what, you know, he's bringing inside of the lecture. I've been trying to get it out of him for the last <laughs> six years. You know what I'm saying? And he ain't, you know, he give me little bits and pieces of it, you know. Right. But, but you know, he. Um, but I'm sure it has something to do with what we're talking about now. You know, right. how, you know, there was um, how they, you know, used the South to, you know, indoctrinate brothers and sisters, man, and to move it around, you know, to other cities and states and stuff through, you know, their indoctrination of the people down south. And if, like I said, if you live down south, you know how important it is and how big, you know, Christianity really is down south. Mm -hmm. You know, and the indoctrination, you know, starts young. It starts damn near in the womb, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying down right. south. And they get to the teaching, you know, these, you know, I, I, can, I can remember if I could, I can remember when I was young, you know, I grew up in the project and they would always have this little church bus, to come, a big old church bus to come through the project and pick up all the kids and take mm -hmm. us, you know, to the church, you know, and we'd be there singing songs and they got the Kool-Aid and the cookies, you know, saying and all of that <laughs> stuff. We sitting there just having a good old time, you know, but what we didn't know that they was indoctrinating us with the cook, with the cookies and the juice, right. you know, and singing the songs and stuff. You know, right. and we didn't know, you know, you know, talking about, you know, Jesus loved thee. Yes, I know for the Bible tell me so. That's mm -hmm. like we, you know, we end up right. just, you know, but we get indoctrinated at the same time, you know, and 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 those lessons that we learn, you know, through you know, Christianity at a young age, they stuck with us, you know, throughout our, our lifestyle, man. You know, and 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 we still, you know, were loving, you know, our oppressors. And that was the main indoctrination that they was teaching us was to love the oppressors and, you know, hate your brother. You know, we didn't we didn't realize it that we didn't realize it that way. But, you know, as we get older and we done came into the truth, we see that, you know, the whole Christianity doctrine is about loving, you know, the oppressor way more than you love your own people. You know, and that's the danger of, you know, the, that Bible belt. That's the danger of that Bible belt, because. It has all the brothers down south. You know, we we man, brothers that they are indoctrinated so hard. You know, and Martin Luther King came down through here. Mm -hmm. Martin Luther King, you know, it birthed people like Martin Luther King down here. You got the Martin Luther Kings and all of the Jesse Jackson, all the people who was riding with him, and they were just going around the south, just you know, teaching you know the the Christian doctrine to the people for us to be docile and not hostile you know, mm -hmm. towards the oppression that we dealing with down south, you know, and it's still going on to this day. You know, people don't think that the the um the um the the Bible belt is still true to this day, but it actually is. You go and look at all of the states like that, like the map that you brought up, you look at all of the states where the Bible belt is at, and just look at how you know the Negroes that are in those areas are, you know, mm -hmm. they you know, we don't have a lot of togetherness downhill because everybody you know believing in you know we should you know love our oppressors you know and not unite with one another because you know that's what we was taught we was taught to to and if you go up north i used to live up north too you go up north a lot of the you know ideologies uh, and the way people think up north is more you know geared on us being around each other you know but down south is more geared on you know us you know loving our oppressors you know, down south. And that's just the truth of the matter, man. You know, mm -hmm. and that's just that's a learned behavior that we was taught, 
you know, growing up under that Bible belt. And that's why the, the, uh, uh, I don't want to bringing it out because I, people don't even know that, you know, there are certain areas in the United States that, you know, have you know, Christianity has a more of an effect on than other areas inside of the United States. And that Bible Belt, man, it got a grip on the blacks, Hispanics, and the Native Americans, man. Go you know, yeah, um, down south for sure. God, that's well said, man. Well said. And also, uh, uh, Officer Laquan was right. It's forty-four members, but it is forty-seven different con forty-seven thousand different congregations. So that's forty-seven thousand different churches involved mm. with that. Southern mm. Baptist con that was a lot of churches, man. That's a lot. That's nice. a lot, bro. You gotta think how many, like, how many, um, uh, you know, these, uh, what you, what you call them churches, man? They like super huge, got the big jumbo the mega churches, mega mega church. Church. Yeah. man. All our people in them mega churches, man, all mm -hmm. of them, and, and they and they believing in the white Jesus, uh, that that I mean, any lie that white supremacy has came up with is in that church. That's why, man. That's that's really like us in the ISUPK. That's our main enemy, man. You know, you, you know, the fake Israelite groups, you know, they lightweight, but our main enemy is that Christian church, man. That is the synagogue of Satan for real. Right. You know, it, it sounds weird from us when we tell our brothers and sisters that in the world. But if you come into the truth and look how we move and look at all the laws that we obey and, and, and how strict we are with that law, and then you go to the Christian church, man, think about it, the Christian church, even in the white churches, it was a video just came out. This white woman was like 20, 30 years old. And she talked about how she'd been molested since she was like 15 by the yep. preacher. And he was getting ready to retire. That's that's the white church. I ain't even talked about how, because you know, like in our society with, with, with blacks, man, pedophiles are in your family and it's shh, just don't go back to the back room where Uncle Charles is. Right. Well, it's all it's accepted. It, or or the mother uh dealing with the daughter. It's like you just want my boyfriend. She ain't even trying to hear that. So where do we get all that? Where do we get Crips in the bloods? Where do we get these things? Where do we get how to sell? I got people didn't come up with a with a with a with a metric scale on what a dime is, what a quarter, what an ounce, what a half a bird is. Right. We didn't come up with that. CIA taught us how to sell dope. So right. when you go back to everything, everything, all roles of sin lead to the Christian church, man. Somebody need to make that a shirt. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all, yeah. roles lead, uh, all roles of sin lead to the Christian church. I mean, they are that how do we how do we know how to gang bang? Because the police. Right. That's the biggest gang in the earth, you know. Right. So in a nutshell, man, like like uh this this Bible belt uh lecture. It's gonna be serious, man. And, and and even if you're not able to be there, of course we're gonna be streaming. We probably be, uh uh streaming um what's the stream yard? Yeah, yeah stream yard. I need to get involved with that myself. We're gonna be going live on stream yard. And man, just tune in, take notes, and, and just get edified, man. Just 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 soak it up because like a lot of our brothers and sisters, like maybe on the west coast and on the east coast, they don't have no idea what this thing is. And this thing is powerful and it needs to be talked about and it needs to be destroyed. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if I could, if I could Good. too. The, uh, and another thing I was just thinking about when the brother was uh, talking about the Southern Baptist uh, Convention, you know, they have, you know, out of all those, they got 47,000 uh, churches, right? Mm -hmm. And they got, um, they got 14 million members, but they also, it's, it's divided into white churches and black churches. Right. You know what I'm saying? So in the black churches, they like the brother was bringing out, they don't have a voice. They don't have like a majority voice. They can't say what they want to say, even though, like, say, for instance, we was talking to one brother at uh, we was at the convention. You know, Captain Cahun was slicing them up at the convention. Right. Mm -hmm. But we was there and we was talking to the brother. He was a brother who owned one of those black churches. He was in charge of one of those black churches. And. He was saying, man, you know what? I, I agree with what y'all saying. I agree that, you know, Christ is a black man. You know, I know that Christ is a black man. I know that Christ is, you know, he died for, uh, you know, for for his people. We, we understand that. And the brother, this is the black brother saying that. But he also understood that he couldn't teach what we taught, though. Even though he understood everything that we were saying, 
he couldn't teach it because he was under the Southern Baptist uh, Convention. Right. And they was not going to allow him to teach Christ is black, even though he know Christ is black. You know, That's he right. still wasn't able to teach Christ is black because the Southern uh, Convention, Baptist Convention, wouldn't allow him to teach that. So like like uh, like I, uh, Officer Nishak was saying, they have control. They got full control, even though, you know, they they try to get, you know, stay, get to the side sometime and be like, you know, I ain't you know, we ain't affiliated with them when they doing all of the wicked stuff. Right. But they still, you know, have the big say so when it comes to what doctrines they teach. You know, or you know how they members. You know, if, if they getting how much money they gonna get, they they in total control of the money for sure. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and and things of that nature. You know, they in control of that. It's just when it's time for you know for them to get negative coverage from you know the the media uh, spots, then they try to step back and be like, I ain't affiliated with that group. But they still they still over those groups, and they want to allow them to teach certain things inside of that if it conflicts to what the white churches are teaching okay so like it's, if i may so basically that that whole thing is uh, i'm just trying to understand it mm -hmm. and for some of our, our viewers you know what i mean this 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 convention thing baptist thing mm -hmm. basically they, they they are the police for black churches you know what i mean to mirror what is taught in the white christian churches basically but more like I wouldn't even say police, uh as a, as a, I would say more like a government. Mm. It's more like a government, it's more like where okay, you paying that fee allows you to say, um the I mean the best documentation that I found was, was the COVID incident. Mm. Okay, the law says six feet, no, no, no large gatherings. Churches was looking at the Southern uh, the Southern Baptist Convention like, do we got to listen to this? Are we going to lose our money? Well, what's happening? Mm. So get people in the church. So then they keep piling the church up. They don't have to worry about the police. Why? Because you got you under the umbrella of the Southern Poverty Law. I mean, the uh, Southern Baptist Convention. Mm -hmm. So it's more like a, you're part of a governing body. Mm. The more the more money you pay, the more the more prestige and the, the more little mm. uh, favors and laws you can twist Church. and manipulate your way. You know, it, it, it's it's like a it's like the mob. Right, right, <laughs> right. That's a good. That's a great that's, way of putting it. That's, a, <laughs> a, that's the best thing that come into my head. It's like the mob, man. And and, and, and like you know, like it's certain in the mafia, it's certain people you just can't touch. They call untouchable. Right. You, you just can't touch them. Like you can't, you don't have enough dirt on them. So how do they keep this thing going? They keep, they get prestigious leaders like Joel Osteen, mm. T.D. Jakes, Creflo Dollar. Take these leaders that can pile up thousands of people in your church. You have to become part of this thing, of this thing, of this structure. So now, even, I give you another thing, even I guarantee you, when they was getting pushed back from the COVID incident by, by, by having these gatherings still in your church. I guarantee you the Southern Baptist convention said, Hey, just create a website, go live on the website and take ties over the internet. Good, I guarantee man. you things like that are created. These, these things are created and this place is used as a nucleus for people to know how to run their churches. Right. Mm. That's that's how sick this thing is. This thing is huge, man. And, and so, okay, sir, uh, mm -hmm. If I may, real quick, um, that's that's funny you said that. I don't want that's heavy because during the COVID, you know, we brought out a couple of stories where you know, I mean, the pastors and the priests and and in the churches, they 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 would some of them would consider the six feet, and then you know, I mean, Captain Nyatak um, had brought out um, an article and, and and a story where um the churches was using super soakers you know mm. i mean to baptize people <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. <laughs> super soakers <laughs> right. Right. To baptize people and stuff like that so so i think that that a lot of these things come from 
you know what I mean? The, the, the Southern Baptist Convention. So um, mm -hmm. that, that that's it. Yeah. You, yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And if I could, they um they got a lot of power. All right, so they not only is it just like pastors. You might people, you know, people who don't know, they might look at it as just it's just a, a conglomerate of pastors and churches and stuff. It's deeper than that. That's what that's what uh, I don't know I'm saying. It's deeper than that because right. they got political sway. They got sway inside. When you talk, when you see uh, those pastors and stuff that uh, put Donald Trump in the office, all right. A lot of people, uh, what they call those pastors, those um, um, e evangelicals, those right. evangelicals, they part of the Southern Baptist Convention. Those they got political sway and they got judges under their belt. They got, I mean, because they got a lot of money, man. They got a lot of money, so they got judges under they under they under they umbrella. They got politicians under their umbrella. They got boosters. I mean, it even gets down. It even gets down, and I don't, I don't know if I'm giving something away or not, but it gets down into the sports and stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like it's like it's deep. You know, it ain't just a small. It actually gets off into the sports and with the boosters, and uh, it's deep down south. Football is huge down here. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And those, a lot of those, you know, the Southern Baptists, they get kickbacks because they spending money getting. You know, you might think of. Uh, I'm gonna give you an example. Of what I'm talking about? A lot of people they just now hearing about the, you know, the people getting paid, the students getting paid and stuff, right? Well, you know, students been getting paid. They just wasn't allowed to get paid from the schools. So where would they get the money from? They get the money from the churches. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The churches was the ones buying, you know, these niggas uh, um, uh, Cadillacs and, you know, houses, getting the mama uh, refrigerators. And it was coming from the churches. Those mm. churches was the ones because, you know, the churches are nonprofit. So they right. don't count when it comes to giving, you know, giving away the money and stuff. So that's how a lot of these athletes were able to get money because they couldn't get it from the school because it'll be a violation to the school. God. So they was going to these churches, you know, the, the, the schools was given, they was them in the churches was, you know, having they, you know, back, back, uh, back table discussions and making sure that, you know, they get the money so they can give it to the, to the student, to the athlete and the athlete to give a kickback, you know, once he get his contract and everything, you mm -hmm. know, so that, these things is, is way deeper than a lot of people understand because, you know, like I said, they got political ramifications and it also, you know, um, our brothers and sisters, man, we just entrenched in it. And, you know, and it, they build laws behind the Southern Baptist Convention. You know, the Southern Baptist Convention, I, I, I'm going to let the brother explain it, but the Southern Baptist Convention, you know, the, the, the KKK come out of the Southern yeah. Baptist Convention. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's so cool. it's, you know, it's deeper yeah. than, you know, than a lot of people understand, man. I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, get too deep off into it. So, no, like, bro, you, you own it. You own it, man. If I could, man, he brought a good point about the athletics. Uh, now, because it reminds me of the political power. Mm. that the Southern Baptist Convention will have, the Bible Belt will have, the whole point of even, they don't, again, you got to remember, white supremacy don't care nothing about teaching us anything from the scriptures, nothing. Right. That's why a preacher, any Christian church you go to, they'll take a, they'll take one scripture or two. The whole sermon will be about them things, about those two scriptures, but the sermon ain't got nothing to do with it. They'll put it up on a jumble trying, and every Christian know what I'm talking about. I came from the Christian church. Right. They'll put it on that jumbotron, and what he's saying is straight philosophy. It don't have mm -hmm. nothing, no kind of breakdown, nothing. So they don't care about teaching people the scriptures. They care about hypnotizing you. Here is a point. Here is how. How many times do politicians go into churches when they're getting ready to get votes? Mm. They'll make an appearance. Check this out. Now, no, anybody that's a Christ, that's used to be a Christian or is a Christian now, that's it. This is undeniable. No. These people, governors, uh, um, whatever, any kind of uh, political position, or uh, come to that church, one service, standing, sit in the front seats, <laughs> right? To introduce them. Mm -hmm. Everybody clapping like he's just gonna do everything for you, and. He's already been paid. That politician has already paid that preacher for that appearance. Then they want you to vote for them. Why did that politician go to that church? I'm going to tell you why. Because that politician 
is has tapped into the Southern Baptist Convention, knows the power of what church has, how many members it has, and they look at numbers, bro. They look at numbers and they like, my church has this many members. If you pay me this much, then you can come in here and get these votes. That's the type of power that they looking at, man. White supremacy has looked, they looked at this 30 years ago, 50 years ago. Mm-hmm. On how to you they eat off us, man. You know, scripture talk about it all the time. That's that's why the scriptures refer to is is to Israel as sheep. Because, like, I don't know if y'all I know both of y'all know about slaughter of the lambs. Come, come. I snatched me one up this year. <laughs> right, you put up right. a little bit of a fight, but yeah. uh, 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 you just snatch a sheep, man. A sheep is not gonna put up no fight. That's how they attack us. That's how they use our people, and that's what this Bible built is. That's why it's so dangerous, and that's why I'm gonna tell you the, the main dangerous part about it is that our people don't know what it is. It's like it doesn't even exist. It's just right. a name. It's almost like. Like if you tell a, a, a Christian in this day and time, that's an image of Caesar Borgia. They like, okay, who is that? Right. That, you know how like us in the truth. Oblivious. Like, yeah, like that. That is so. You have to know who that is. Right. That's the whole trick of what the Christian Church is doing. So it's almost like that's what this Bible Belt is. That's what the Southern Baptist Convention is. That's what critical race theory is. It's all smoke and mirrors, and our people are just being led to death in here. You look, man. Here's another statistic. I'm gonna I'm throw this at you. McQuam got me thinking like I'm I'm, I'm holding too much back, so I'm gonna <laughs> a little bit, a little, bit a little more out. All right, check this out. So we discuss the area in uh in uh um uh, Officer Azahab. If if you could, could you put that map up real quick? Kind now we talked about earlier it's the top of, of florida goes over to texas to the midwest up to kentucky over to the carolinas right now in these regions and i have the statistics to back it up in these regions when the brother puts this up pay attention to whoever's you know is, is in here in these regions it's the highest homosexuality mm. In the nation, it's the highest pornography in the nation. It's the highest. Um, what else is it? It's uh, the highest uh, domestic violence mm. in the nation, right here in this region. Mm. Also, with the highest porno- pornography. Now we talking about. Give me st- now. Let me get you straight. We talking about churches. The statistics are from these forty seven thousand congregations and all these other little churches that might not make up the Southern Baptist Convention yet, but are in this Bible Belt, this is them. This Mm. is the Christian community I'm talking about. This is where I get these stats from. The highest in domestic violence, the highest in homosexuality, the highest in in, uh, pornography viewership, and the pornography viewership is the highest in the homosexual pornography viewership Mm. here's the kick on that that's crazy here's the kick on that guess who they watching the most with the with the homosexual pornography black men Mm. now when you're looking at that now we tapping into effeminization now mm. we tapping into effeminization is when you're targeting a certain group to be homosexual right and everybody knows that look you can look at hollywood bro it, look at hollywood they take any movie you watch nowadays they'll take the only black man or the only black sister on there and they will be gay all hey. time yeah you watch like yep. eternals like eternals i don't know if you all saw that movie that movie uh, yeah. mm-hmm. it was disgusting i yeah, can never watch it again just because of that one brother he had to be married to a white man. Like, why? <laughs> right. right. I say that every time. Like, uh, right. that new Fresh Prince uh, uh, sitcom, uh, not sitcom, series. Mm-hmm. Ashley's gay. They yeah. made Ashley gay, man. Why? Yeah, why? <laughs> <laughs> Ashley ain't never been nowhere near gay, nigga. Right. Why are you making her yeah. gay? 
you know it's, it's it's an agenda bro it like it's almost like um if they keep oh, y'all remember like it was a time when they didn't show a lot of videos of us being killed like uh, uh and beaten like rodney king was one of the first one videos they started releasing to of what the police was really doing they show us that so much now they show it so much that it starts to numb you mm-hmm it starts to make, and when I'm talking about you, I'm talking about brothers and sisters in the world. Of course, UPK, we dissect all that. Oh, and, that's the, and that's the reason why. Because they almost numb our people with showing it so much. That's what they're doing with, with this uh, effeminization and targeting our, our brothers basically to be gay. Like Jeremiah Hyman brought out the, uh, the other night in the class, they are teaching us to be gay. Literally. Sure. They are creating homosexuals. Like uh, I heard the um, uh, uh, Captain Mashak and um, all the other captains, the show they do on uh, Saturday sometime. Black Watch. Uh, yeah, yeah, that Black Watch. Uh, they was talking about uh, what was going. Oh, I'm trying to. I can't. I can't pinpoint on what they was talking about. They but they was talking about what um, uh, what Jeremiah was saying too. It's almost like. The home okay, they put up an old a old video, man. It's an old video where uh uh Captain uh 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 Cod, he was young. I think Captain Cahun was on there, he was young, and it showed a home some homosexual dude just dancing and he started trying to get naked, you know what I'm saying? And the police came up and um, you know, he looked like a disturbance, so they they handcuffed him, took him away. In this day and time, if they did that, they're not finna handcuff them. They're not finna touch these homosexuals now. Why? Because they're accepted almost like they're a different race. Like they like they have a right, like they have civil rights now because they have been accepted ever since 2008 when uh Barack Obama he around that time he legalized homosexuality. Man, they didn't made they didn't made strides with just indoctrinating us with accepting homosexuality right. now it's to the point where they're targeting blacks hispanics and native Indians, especially black men right be effeminate and it's okay to be gay like this is pride look here's another example and i'm, I'm gonna let y'all say this man i got so much stuff we want to say <laughs> so i'll be loving <laughs> these interviews man i can just right. unload you know what i mean right. one more thing i want to say man this is gay pride month right Right, kind of, kind of. I don't know. I, I don't follow. It, it is. Look, hey, Austin Quan put me on game. I, I had <laughs> forgot. He was like, Man, you know, this gay pride month because we seen a seven foot eight nigga with <laughs> right. um, <laughs> rainbow bright socks on, uh, a tie dye shirt, <laughs> rainbow, and, and his hat was like to the side, like this, mm-hmm. with a rainbow all on it. I was right. like, Man, what kind of madness? This Thanks. dude was he was a flaming mm-hmm. homosexual, you disgusting. Know what I mean? Yeah, it was it was crazy. I mean, dude was literally like for real. He was about yeah. six five. He walked up on us. I thought it was a rainbow. He was there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, man, what? And I just looked in the car because we was on our way to camp, and I was looking at him like, what the hell is going on, man? He said, this this gay pride month, I the one you, you forgot. I was like, damn. And then I thought about it. Gay pride month has overshadowed Juneteenth. Right. Mm. Ain't this supposed to be Juneteenth? Ain't this supposed to be about black people being emancipated and all that good jazz? Right. Now, how the hell gay pride month done been stuck in your face to where now you forget that you was a slave, huh? Good night. You done forgot about paying homage to Abraham Lincoln, huh? No. Nah. That, that's that's just an example of how white supremacy, even when they, they, they looking like you, they giving you something, Man, they really taking that thing away and putting something in your face that's even gonna hurt you more. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I just want to say that. Is is the witchcraft of of how subtle the devil is, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And how he utilizes, you know, I mean, every facet of reality to 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 keep us, you know, what I mean, in a state of, you know, what I mean, perpetual uh subserviency, if I must say it like that. You know what I mean? Good. So like, I totally agree. Yeah, and 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 it's crazy. It's like it's damn near like how when they gave 
um, so-called gave us the Black History Month, you know, they gave it into the month with the 28 days. <laughs> right. you, know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They give it to you, you know, they give you give you uh, uh, Juneteenth, they give it to you, you know, in, in conjunction with Pride Month, you know right. what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's always, you know, a give or take, you know, they, you know, we, and, but we, I, I blame, you know, of course I blame, you know, the Christian church and, and, the, and the black and Hispanic leaders, mm -hmm. you know, falling for it. You do know what I'm saying? Y'all don't have no kind of foresight to where you see, well, damn, why is y'all giving the tools in, you know, pride month? Of course, everybody going to be on pride month all month. Mm -hmm. So why would, you know, ain't nobody going to really pay attention to, you know, the so-called Juneteenth. You know, right in the middle of Pride Month, you know, right. y'all don't have enough foresight to understand that, you know, and that comes with, you know, us having these bad leaders, man. Right. You know, the, the, our leadership in the Black and Hispanic community, man, they are the worst, you know, of all the people on planet Earth. You know what I'm saying? You go to any other country, you know, they leaders going to look out for their people. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And, you know, our people, our leaders, man, they don't, they could care less, you know, they really... That could and they you know involved in the agenda, you know the same way that you know our press has taught them to you know be involved up, up with the agenda, you know, and that's why it's so important, man, that this 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 lecture come out, you know, because you know what he's bringing out is what Commander General Hanna has taught us, you know, to, to we we the we the we the leaders in our communities who got to bring this this information to the people that's that they right. don't know. You know, that's what Commander General Hunter teaches us. That's why we go out on the streets every week. You know, that's why we're doing these classes. That's why we had these lectures, because we the watchmen, we the real true leaders for our people. Damn you right. Know? And if, if we're not teaching it, then ain't nobody teaching it. This is the home of the truth. I don't give a damn what nobody say. Damn you know, right. you know right. the same people who complaining about us saying we the home of the truth. They ain't out here doing what we doing. You know, they ain't in the communities, you know, waking up the people. They ain't clothing. They ain't, you know, feeding the people. The brother, uh, 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 the shock, man, he got a effective um, 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 food program right down here in, 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 in Nashville, Tennessee. You know, he, man, he feeds the people like, you know, crazy, you know, Commander General Hunter, that, but that's what he taught us, how he taught us to do, mm -hmm. you know, and the brother is, you know, doing a lot of great work, man, down here. In Tennessee and waking up brothers and sisters, man. And it is much needed all around the country. We need more of us all around the country. That's why we're going out into the streets to find more people to do this work. You know, if, you, if anybody listening to it, you know, my voice right now, you know, and you're not involved in the school, man, get involved in the school. If you want to do something greater than yourself, get involved into the ISUPK, man. Yeah, well, right. Actually, get out here and do some work, man. Do some good for the people, man. You, right. I mean, you might got a, you might got a lecture in you that we don't know about. Right. You know what I'm saying? Sure, this lecture that he's finna bring out. There's a lot of people who don't know anything about the Bible Belt. They just heard, you know, that, that there's such thing as the Bible Belt. It's an invisible, you know, land around the South that people know about, but they don't know how uh, um, really. Tricky tricky and how you know detrimental it is to our people you know so it's man i'm just glad that the brother um and i don't want to bring this out man because i'm you know i, I actually want to hear it myself you know like i said he don't never he don't tell me nothing you know <laughs> <laughs> he tell me a little he bits and pieces of but i want to i want to hear it myself you know because he's been holding on to this for a long time man, and he said he's gonna bring it out and i'm i'm just glad that he finally bringing it out for the yeah. people to hear Salaka, if I may, um, I'm definitely gonna um, drive down. You know what I'm saying? Lord That's, right. That's what's up, man. Yeah, I'm yeah. Drive down. Yeah, right. you know I don't know if other brothers gonna join me, but I I, I did um, uh, speak to um, uh, Officer Mashak Mashak Salaka. Mm -hmm. um, I I told him, you know, what I mean, like it's it because I personally um, had an idea for it, uh, Officer Yahawda. Um, that's in 2019, had given me an idea. He said, you know, we should do a lecture on the Bible Belt and stuff like that. And he was the one who first introduced me to what the Bible Belt was. You know what I mean? Officer, big up to Officer of 5000, um, Yahawada. You know what I mean? Right. And now, you know what I mean? You're, we we actually in the truth. So, so you know what I mean? Prophets think alike. So, yeah, right. you know what I mean? Right. The brother and this lecture is very important because I know a little bit about the Bible Belt myself. A little bit. Not too much. 
and I'm I'm I want to hear everything that he has because I'm based on the small bit of information that you just brought out. I don't want like is for one of the things that stood out to me is yo this area here has the most homosexuals and most pedophiles and most you know what I mean sexual deviancy right. amongst our people in, right. in this region. Right. And why is that? This is where majority of the churches are concentrated. And, you know, I mean, this is where the, 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 the Southern um, Baptist Convention is the organization. You know, I mean, that's where it, 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 it resides. You know, what I mean, now, why is it that the Caribbean has homosexuality? Mm. Why, why is it that the UK has homosexuality mm. running rampant? We know why now. There's a there's a there's a, a <laughs> connection. Connection is right. 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 the pastors, is the people who run in these things. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? They're the one pushing it and perpetuating it. You know what I mean? And it, and if I may, just before you all go on, um, you know, what I mean, I just want to say again, you know, what I mean, burning the Bible belt lecture by officer Nashak Na, Na, uh Salaka, say your last name, sir. I don't know how to pronounce it. Mayatha. Mayatha. That's right, means dead. Good night. Weapon of death. <laughs> That's the two I'm living right there. <laughs> Saturday, July 16th, Nashville, Tennessee. You see the address on the screen. You know what I mean? Brothers and sisters in the surrounding areas, please come out and, and support the brother. You know what I mean? Our brothers, you know what I mean? With this lecture, the knowledge is going to be, you know what I mean, impeccable. It's going to be food for your spirit, you know what I mean? That would help. It just going to help you wake up and get unplugged from the matrix you know what i mean um also um i just want to give a quick shout out to um some of the people in the chat we got um uh pagalbawa officer 50 we have uh, um uh kapa we have nadaya we have Dwayne davis um uh captain yagarawap big up yourself adwan um israel we have of a captain now <laughs> to Taiwan, big up yourself. Yeah, hell yeah. You know, I mean, we have Swap. Um, I already got that one. We have Kanak, Shalom Lord of Christ, and then we got somebody watching us on Twitch. Uh, I, I don't know who that is. It, it looks like an Asian person. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so um, what we're going to do, other one, yes, no. we go, we're going to jump to a quick break, and then we're going to come right back, and then I'm going to just let, let it go, okay? Oh, okay. oh and, and, and I can, if I could say one thing, too. If come, anybody come. had any questions in the chat, too, man, you know, they could throw their questions out there, man. We could, you know, kind of hammer some of that stuff down. If they had any questions about the Bible Belt or uh southern baptist convention or critical race theory you know i i i i, I damn sure will answer the questions you know what i'm saying cannot one cancer all right all right more sign christ let's take this quick break we'll be right back <laughs> Tune in to Unplugged from the Matrix every Friday from 12 to 2 p.m. Get unplugged Preaching proper to the Lord, gotta teach the speak, exposing all the lies with the truth. Now they can see the evil, we the lost children of the Lord. Yasha holla, chopping heads off with my sword. Holy Bible, one west, one west, one west, one west, one west. Yeah. All right, all right, be back. Here we go. Unplugged from the Matrix, live, you know what I'm saying? We are having an excellent discussion with our brothers down in, in Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, we're burning the Bible Belt, you know what I mean? That's what we're going to do in the UPK. We're going to burn the Bible Belt, you know what I mean? We're going to unplug our people. We're going to wake our people up to the truth and the reality that we're living in, you know what I mean, under the guise of white supremacy, which is Catholics, you know what I'm saying, which is Presbyterian, uh, uh, how to call them? The the, the Seventh Day Adventists, you know. What I mean, the Jehovah Witnesses, you know. What I mean, all, all of all of these denominations, you know. What I mean, they have been spewing lies and 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 been, you know. What I mean, indoctrinating our people to think that, you know. What I mean, we are less. In essence, that's what it's doing. It, it creates a subservient type of behavior in our people, 
You know what I mean? That when we see so-called Caesar Berger, let me, let me, let me grab that, that, that piece of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> it's when we see when we see this image right here, uh -oh. this right here, this this is this is what makes us feel like we're part of America. It's you know right. what I mean? Because this has been shoved down our throats. You know what I mean? By the Bible Belt, mm -hmm. by Christianity, by white supremacy. So all brothers gonna have a lecture that's gonna disrupt. You know what I mean? All the evil that has been done to us. We're gonna try to undo it with this lecture. And this lecture, I'm, I'm telling you, I know it's going to be to up. I know it's going to be to up. And this, you can put it on what I'm right now. Because it will no longer have any value to your life. You know what I'm saying? So like, that's what I wanted to ask her. God, man, you, you, you nailed that on the head, man. Um, I think somebody saying, Salaki, what song was that on the break, other one? Say that again, sir. I think somebody wanted to know what song that was on the break. Oh, oh, oh. You want to know what song that is? You got to hit me up, man. <laughs> hit me up. <laughs> hey, look, I got a question. I want. I got a question I wanted to ask uh, Officer Nishak. Okay. All right. All right, so um, I know that pedophilia is huge inside of the Christian church. Mm -hmm. All right, pedophilia is huge inside the Christian church. Mm -hmm. Within, uh, you know, from your studies, have you found that pedophilia is is prevalent, more prevalent inside of the Bible Belt than you know other areas, um, you know, throughout the United States? Because it'll go back to what uh, what uh, 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 the brother was bringing out about how why is it you know homosexuality over in the Caribbean? Why is it in the UK? You know, because I'm sure pedophilia is probably big over there too you know what i'm saying because of you know the christian church also so i just wanted to know through your studies did you find out that pedophilia was just as big uh in that area or greater in that area than in other areas Come, that's a good question right there man um actually uh it, it does it i have found the pedophilia is is at an alarming rate in the south especially because mm. in the south it's always been and, and, and y'all know this you know you, you you've been in the south for for a while um also has uh and uh i know the farm was going down here and uh it's always this hush hush thing uh stop snitching uh don't say nothing um it's like a culture that you're taught since you a child and um when you look at the churches in the south the churches are like hotbeds for pedophiles. Right. You, uh, I mean, you you got. Even though I put it this way, even though it's in it's in um, what happened to R. Kelly, right? Even though it's in Chicago, that's an example of what happens all the time down here. What? Let me explain myself on that, because people I know y'all might know, but a lot of people don't. Uh, R. Kelly was molested by his sister and they were christians mm. they did it in the church like they 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 she would take uh her friends that she met in the church and they would molest r kelly this is a sister man this is documented uh there's a famous uh singer named donnie mcclurkin all right this is this is a southern singer a gospel singer he was molested by his uncle in the church parking lot when he was Good a child man all the time now these things happen at alarming rates and the reason why the south is so prevalent with it besides the culture of hush don't say nothing uh nobody's gonna believe you this just between me and you is because it's taught from the church i'll give you some more history on even even where the church would get it from who has the highest rates probably in on the earth for pedophilia? Let me ask y'all that. Well, um, for pedophilia, I would probably say on the earth. On the earth, I would pr probably have to say us. The Vatican. The Vatican, okay. With the priests, 
the Catholic priests, they they man, they they molesting children by the thousands. Right. In America, the South is is leading. But mm. where are they getting that from? If you got the Vatican doing that and the Roman Catholic Church controls everything. Mm -hmm. That the the uh Vatican, the Roman Catholic Church is giving orders to the Southern Baptist Convention. Right. They run things over here. So pedophilia is almost like it's a regular thing in Christianity. They've been doing it since the Greeks and the Romans. This ain't this ain't nothing new. Like it's not even um it's not even a thing that 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 looks weird to white America. White America, it, it look. I mean, look at um, look at the presidents, man. Look at Donald Trump. Look at uh, Joe Biden. They got they doing it on camera. All them pictures that D Donald Trump took with his daughter. Mm -hmm. Man, you don't you don't take them poses with your daughter. And they got yeah. pictures. Man, look on YouTube and look up anybody. Look up uh, Joe Biden touching children. And this yeah. video clips yeah. that somebody yeah. has put together where the dude is like got his hand over a child's shoulder and he's got yeah. his hand right here on a breast. It's th these people are sick, but this is like normal for them. And what do they do? If they gonna teach, if they gonna teach uh have systems set up like Southern Baptist Convention and 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 the Negro project where they teach teach blacks how to how to uh what they want them to know about the Bible. What make you think they're not going to teach them it's okay to touch children? Right. If you got the power, if you the leader of the church, you can have, you can do whatever you want to. You God. What's another proof of it? Anybody remember Eddie Long? Mm -hmm. Eddie Long sit there and, and, and destroyed young men for years. And the Lord judged that brother because he did not die of some unknown sickness. That was AIDS. That brother got judged by the Lord. For, for destroying his people man so to answer your question it's most definitely at alarming rates pedophilia is very high in the, in the southern uh in the south so it's safe to say i said i could go ahead if, if i may I, I'm, I'm gonna be quick i, I was uh missing what you were saying now I, I i was i was just pulling um going through like different articles and stuff and this mm -hmm. one stood out to me, like while I was searching, based on what you just said. Like mm -hmm. I, I typed in Joe Biden touches children. And mm. this this article popped up. Good this night. one right here. What does that article say? I can't see because that one little box right there. You know, all the time. Bear with me one second. Okay, listen. I'm, I'm kind of free, freezing a little bit. Just bear, bear with me one second. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get it back. I'm gonna get back. Uh, this man, he trying to get like uh Captain Mashak, my young man, uh, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I need, yeah, I need some classes, man, on how to get you know work that kind of like that. Man, that super quick. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm computer illiterate a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you see, man. you see what it says here. It says, it says Joe Biden, former um, was that staffer uh Tara Reedy. Mm -hmm. It says the former vice president and. Uh, presumptive Democratic nominee. What, what is all of this, man? Come on. You know, what I mean, acute uh, assaulted her in 1993. So mm. you know, what I mean, and and there are tons of other you know, what I mean, little articles with his face on there touching little girls and stuff like that. You mm. know, what I mean, the, the, I'm, I'm I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna pull up a picture right now. Bear with me one second. I'm gonna pull up a picture right and now. This is towards women and girls. Mm. Yes. I don't know what's going on. I, I think my my browser is, is frozen. Uh, you too wild, brother. That where it froze at? That's what people need to see right there. That's what yeah. your Christians do right there. Yeah, and that's crazy because these are the people who are leading our people. Mm -hmm. You know, these are the people who are in, in control and in and in power. You know, over God's chosen people. Right. You know, you know, gays and and and, and pedof you know pedophiles and you know they the ones that are in the power you know and these are the ones that we looking up to and want to be like we want to look up and be like pedophiles right and you know what i'm saying being like you know we going to get our morality from you know 
people who believe in pedophilia and molestation and this is where we go to get our morality from you know but when the ISPK talks about you know and speaks against it then we the bad guys you know okay. speaking against those pedophiles and saying that they shouldn't be in power and how we should be in power you know because we have the, the right morality we got you know we got the law such the commandments of the lord and you know people would rather you know have those type of people who are you know abusing our people you know in power than to have somebody who's really actually righteous like a man in general that's right damn right yeah. damn right like, like, like you're so right brother and, and if i may let's just look 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 yeah mm -hmm. Look at that. that. That one girl at the top, she don't even want that his funky breath all in her yeah. face. Right. She, she leaning and moving, trying to get away from him. And look, yes. see how he got her by the other arm? She can't yeah. even go through there. Yeah, he, he ain't letting her go nowhere. No. <laughs> that's a, that's <laughs> a straight <laughs> pedophile move. Yeah. Right. That's a, that's a, he in a, a posture of power. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look. <laughs> he on to it. You see, it the, you see the Asian children that said, meet Creepy Joe. Yeah. <laughs> that's who he is. That's who he is. Creepy Joe. Creepy Joe. Boy, yeah. that one. Good. Yeah. Yeah, you on your game, uh, Ayazal. Come on, come on. And, and this this is this is uh, and what you said just now is so heavy, both your brothers. This is who we go to for morality and, and to learn how to be righteous. Right. These the people? Right. We can't, we can't, we can't allow this to, you know, what I mean, go on like this. You know, what I mean, we, we we have to, we have to say, you know, what I mean, there's there's a time when we need to cut it. That's we, right. we need to cut. You need to cut it. You heard that song before? <laughs> right. just, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just need to cut it. You know, what I mean, cut it, sever ourselves, and 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 come down to the lecture and get right. some knowledge on 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 what we need to do and 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 who we dealing with. You know, what I'm saying inside of America. That's you right. Know what I mean? So lucky. That's right, man. And what you just said was heavy too, man. It, it comes a time. I mean, when is you gonna, you know, enough is enough. Right. But mm -hmm. when is we gonna look and be like, okay, man, we can't continue to keep following these same people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Something got to, you know, I talked to several people, you know, we had um uh, we had a you know shooting down south uh, down in Chattanooga, right? Mm -hmm. There was a big shooting last week, it was all on the news. It was six kids got shot. All right, so Matter of fact, they just had another one uh, last, what, uh, Saturday night where mm. you know, three people got killed, but 14 other people got shot at the same time. Mm. So There's a lot of different things. going. So we've been out in the streets, right? And it's like when we out in the streets and talking to the people, it's always, you know, we always ask a man, you know, is when is enough is enough? You know, is we going, you know, it's time for us to separate, you know, to get our house in order. You know, we can't get our house in order when we worrying about everybody else's house. Right. You know? So uh, we talk to the people and everybody seems to know that, you know, we have to come together as a people, but they just don't want to come together under our terms. You know, they don't want to they don't want to change anything within themselves in order for us to be a righteous people. You know, and that's the issue that we dealing with. And that's why this lecture is so important. Right. because it's teaching brothers and sisters man it's showing them and giving them a, a, a actual picture of the past and how it connects with the present right you know and and we're looking at it and it's right before your face so now what we're going to do what are we going to do are we going to separate ourselves are we going to you know we we got answers for brothers and sisters who you know they clearly don't know which way to go they clearly mm -hmm. know that the christian church ain't the answer you know they know that the Muslim mosque ain't the answer, mm -hmm. but what it but the real issue is our brothers and sisters not wanting to change themselves. You know, that's the real you know hurdle that we trying to we trying to accomplish, you know, with this lecture. You know, this lecture is showing you, you know, how we should be able to look at the past and look at the future and look at the present and say, you know what, we gotta change something, you know, in order. To get to where we need, we know that we need to go, you know, and that's what this lecture is helping do. Right, that's right. Damn right, man. There's another, um, another thing I was thinking about was, uh, I remember when right. uh, mass shootings came, and 
when I say came, I mean it started escalating ever since the Buffalo incident, right? Right. And then uh when that one happened in Texas and uh the governor Abbott down there, instead of you know, seeing what's wrong with the families and condoling them, they seen him going to fundraisers. He was going to fundraisers for his campaign. He didn't give a damn about those little uh, Mexican children that got hurt down there, man. He didn't give a damn. And then there was another politician speaking against him. I forgot his name, but he was speaking against him, saying it ain't right. He really doesn't care. And uh, Governor Abbott was having a town hall at the at the time, and this politician crashed it. And when the poli- this 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 the part of it that caught my ear, when he left. Uh, from crashing Governor Abbott's little town hall and, and kind of like told him what he was really doing. When he was outside talking to the reporters, he was like, we got to do something. We got to do something because it keeps happening. So how are we going to stop it? What white supremacy don't understand, what white America don't understand is you can't. You can't stop it. All right. It's not going to stop. It was a it was a guy seen in California right after... Uh, I think the Texas incident, he was standing on his balcony sniping. It was yeah. an incident that happened, uh, like the brother said, in Chattanooga this weekend. And also on that same Saturday in Philadelphia, it was another mass shooting. Yeah. Now, see, they're not saying nothing about these things. They just they sweeping them up under the rug because it would it would cause a nationwide panic. It'd be like a state of emergency. But it's not it what well, white supremacy will never admit. Is that ever since that COVID, man, they've been falling down hard from the supply chain, from mass shootings, everything. This time right here, if you watching this, watching this this brother's show, the uh, Unplugged from the Matrix, mm. awesome show. And I like to give Absolutely. it up to you, uh, also Ahazaha, for having us on. That's right. Give it up to you for Cut that, man. Just an opportunity to even, um, damn right. To even bringing this information out to our people, man, because you in the end times, nigga. You in the right. end, end <laughs> right. days, nigga. Right. All the movies you didn't watch, you living in them, nigga. Right. It, it ain't. It right. ain't like some ooky booky spooky weird thing. It's 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 prophecy, and it's happening. And every time something pop off, the Lord was sending priests and prophets of the Lord to warn his people. And after right. he warned you that's a wrap you either hot or cold it ain't no right. war so right. you need to get up into the isupk find out the information look if you can sit there and and dig in your phone and find out where these girls are on ig and find out the latest social media gossip you can find this school and that's this right. school is your refuge man it's the only way you're gonna survive Cause that what, what white supremacy don't understand is you are not in control. Right. That's their worst fear. White white America's worst fear is to realize that they really are not in control, and they in a society their rulership is falling apart, and they know it. They know it. Right. And then the time, uh So like not to cut you off, sir. I, um, I, I got a pre, I got a precept, and you know, I, I like to jump in the Bible when 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 heavy stuff is being brought out. Uh, Go if, ahead, brother. If, do your if, thing. If, if I could, sir. Please, man, let me put my war scarf on. You're doing all yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> I had it on deck. I already knew what time it was. Go yeah, ahead. You too, <laughs> yeah. All right, so this is uh, the book of uh, Second uh, Thessalonians, uh, chapter 2 and verse 3. It mm-hmm. said, let no man deceive you by any means. And you could go ahead and break that down, other one. Uh, let no man deceive you by any means. Right. For that day shall not come except there come a falling away first Wait first that's right let's say what's that that's that man perdition oh like i got my thing yeah, everywhere yeah. hold up okay. <laughs> let me get myself together yeah. i'm gonna tell you what that's talking about man what that's talking about is my get my real to help me out what that what that's talking about is brother is that's talking about what we living in right now right. we living in a time where that man of perdition is being revealed We've been fooled by white supremacy. We've been fooled by Christianity. It's a time now that we have to listen to the priests and prophets of the Lord. And we have no choice but to go by the laws of the Bible. Because now white supremacy is showing you their face. 
they show you that they hate niggas spicks and savages they the, the police don't care nothing about our children they'll let them die in front of their parents the man of perdition is being revealed right now right. so this is the only time you got we only got a short amount of time to do something and and, right. and it's not going to war with white supremacy you're not going to win that he's blessed with the sword how we win is going against those principalities right. those those evil spirits in high places that's how we gonna go against this thing and that's how we gonna win by going by the laws and statutes of the bible that's it that's the only right, way we're gonna win but let me get let me get my, myself together real quick man give me a second yeah, come on. Yeah. And, and, and and if I if I could, um that, that's heavy because you know this lecture here is is going to lift up the script of of, of the so-called man sin. Right. right. I mean, this right. lecture is gonna reveal, you know, I mean, witchcraft that has been systematically pushed on our people, which the byproduct of all of this is homosexuality, you know what I mean. A child molestation, pedophilia, um, just name it, murder. You, you, right. know, you know what I mean? Um, 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 theft. You know what I mean? Because the byproduct of the church is, is, is theft your dollar. You know what I mean? And T D Snakes, and Al Sharpton, and all these other people who came out of, you know what I mean? What has been established because of the Bible Belt and because of white supremacy. And, right. and all of that, you know. I mean, I'm gonna just read the scripture again from the top out of one, and then we'll go down to verse four, if, if you don't mind, sir. No sweat, please. I don't want to answer. The, uh, the second Thessalonians chapter two and verse three mm -hmm. uh, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that they shall not come, except they come a falling away first, mm -hmm. and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Right. Verse four, so I can get I was just going to say another important part of that scripture is uh, there's a falling away first. Right. That part of that scripture is very important. That means we have to separate ourselves. We have to segregate ourselves. Like Zephaniah 2 and 1 say, man, we have, we have that's like, that's like a go-to scripture. That no, nation is not desired. Gather, your safe, gather yourselves together, oh nation is not desired. Because that's the only way we're going to survive unless you want to get caught up in a mass shooting. Right. You know, that, that shooting that happened uh there was like a, a music city not a music city but it was a country concert i think it was in vegas right yeah it was you vegas. know how many how many brothers had their little white woman out there and then caught caught a bullet for that it's serious man we have to segregate ourselves we didn't get we didn't we didn't took our money and basically listen to mlk and took our money, our resources, our culture, and merged it with white supremacy. And what did they do? They gentrified us. Right. right. We have to separate ourselves, man. That has to happen first. That has right. to happen. Keep going. Turn out one can. Verse four. Who op opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called God? Say that again, mm -hmm. brother. Who opposeth and exalteth himself? above all that is called god now <laughs> what's, what's the dude name that, that that created tesla and all that elon musk, elon elon musk. musk. Mm -hmm. you tell me that man don't think he god y'all think he believe okay. in god no nah, he don't believe in god no. he, no. He, he thinks he's god just right. like uh charles darwin with the with the theory of evolution and all that man we are dealing with a people that have took you remember when 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 uh in god we trust used to be on the money remember when the ten commandments used to be in the court systems all these things were besides it was just to confuse you just to get you to hop along just like the bible belt just to right. get you, just to get you lured in to get power over you why because the white man think he God, man. That's right. How would he make Christ white? Right. The whole point of look, you know, you you know damn well these niggas are spiritual as hell. You can't tell them nothing when it comes to these, these that, that damn God they love. Right. Let's make this God, and this is them speaking. Now let's make that God white. Let's make that Jesus white. Let's let make them think that we smarter than them. That Asian right. in that classroom is smarter than them. They have to think that they are the lowest when 
it trips me out when people say that a white man wrote that book that let me know how much you don't know nothing about the bible because he would have never right. wrote his demise in there right his demise is in there the, the what the brother just said goes right along with obadiah he exalt himself among the stars right from that point was his downfall so this right. scripture is very important and, and that's an awesome scripture for you to pull because he will always exalt himself as god or above god so right. we can believe him because as long as we think that christ is white as long as we think that we are supposed to be on the bottom he'll have rulership right. and he knows just like like the scriptures say satan has a, a has a short time i'm paraphrasing he has a short Trump. amount of time white supremacy know that too just like uh command Juliana brought out about the space force that ain't right. about no watching satellites and all that but at right. the same time they get more observations of chariots coming here and there man everything is tying in and 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 white supremacy knows that their time is up bro but they're gonna keep right. on trying to convince us that they are the god that we should worship hey Boy. if i could if i could mm -hmm. um also what you're saying is heavy because you know traditionally you know we always fought hard and you know died for you know the god that we believed in Right. you know and the, the 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 important part of what you're saying is now we fighting and dying for a white god right I mean, right that's the god now they done changed the god that we used to believe in into a god that looks like them so now and then they tell us that that's our god now so right. now we fighting and dying for a god that looks like our oppressor right. it looks like like verse four said someone who opposes god mm -hmm. so we're right. fighting for people who oppose god mm -hmm. you know and that's why we you know are in the conditions that we're in because we following people who oppose god we following people right. who say that pork is a delicacy right. you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying we following right. people who believe like we've been talking all day believe in pedophilia believe in rape rob and murder mm -hmm. you know we this is who we dying this is who we pouring our heart and our blood sweat and tears into of people you know that can't save us you do know what i'm saying of people that truly believe that they are above god you know they don't have to answer to the laws of god they don't have to you know be righteous or, or anything you know their righteousness is in how much how evil they can be you that's know right. that's that's and we believe we fall into it so it make us believe that we should be evil you know right. evil is celebrated now you know, you go on TikTok and Facebook and all that. You know, like I, I brought that out in camp. How you know they get they get celebrated for twerking. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We get celebrated. You know, in these rap songs, but you know, talking about killing one another. You know, we get Grammys and you know they get Oscars for making movies about killing black people. You know what I'm saying? And it's celebrated in our community because it's celebrated in the white man's community. So we, you know, we just want to be like them. And that's, you know, that's ultimately our downfall. But you, like you were saying, you know, we got to, you know, have a falling away. Right. We got to fall away from all of, you know, the ideologies of our oppressor and fall back into, you know, our own culture. You know, our culture ain't rape, rob, and murder. You know what I'm saying? That's their culture. That's we just right. following what they believe in. That's but, right. you know, and that's like, like um, the brother's bringing out that's how th this lecture is un, you know is revealing the skirt of the white man revealing mm -hmm. the skirt of the man of perdition you know it's, to, it's showing us you know it's it goes it lines up hand in hand with the scriptures mm -hmm. you know and how you know at the end times you know the, you know just like this this um this show that we own now you know unplugged from the matrix all of this is part of us getting the knowledge and the information to fall away you do what I'm saying, and we have to get these, you know, these lectures. We have to watch these, these classes. We have to watch these podcasts so we can get the information in order for us to be able to fall away from the man of perdition. That's right. That's right, right. man. That's heavy what that brother said. Because you better get it while you can. That's right. You better get it while you can. It'll, it'll be a time where you, you can't just go on the internet and get this information so leisurely like you can now. Right. Right. It's, gonna, it's gonna be a time where you're not gonna see these niggas on the corner, man. 
it's, right. it's gonna be your time the time is up like that's mm-hmm. that's the thing this is not a thing of this is not a like what the lord does when he warns his people is not a thing of convenience it's not a thing where okay i need to get myself together now that's the lie that christianity tell you christianity tells you that to your dying breath you can sin all the way up and then say i believe in christ and right. then be accepted like that don't go like that man faith without works is dead bro I'm that's right. scripture faith without works is dead and what is works you got to put in work you got to put your brick in even if it's just sitting here and learning as a student that's a brick right, right there so it's not a thing where where you can just sin all you want to and then when things start getting real bad you're gonna tighten up man you think the lord don't know that don't know you right. nigga. right you think the lord don't know you the lord know you that's why he giving you priests and prophets of the lord like like austin the quam said this that there's giving you free classes right free podcasts these brothers is on the corner talking to their people man and 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 we fear nothing we don't care about police rolling up and you calling on the police commander uh, under commander jerry hana and isubk we've been taught to go by the law we have a freedom of speech and we use that speech to wake up black suspense and native indians so our people gotta wake up man things is getting bad don't go by the facade that america is showing you this is not real look at the name of the show mm. our people is you seen that movie the matrix our people are <laughs> in the matrix right also right. house of hog was like we gonna unplug that so now I'm you right. can see what's really going on right. so man take advantage of what what these brothers is talking about take advantage of the lecture this bible belt take advantage of everything that the isupk does man because we don't do it for profit we do it for our blacks and spanish and navy indians to survive that's why yeah, we i'm do right it. you know what i'm saying right. i just wanted to say that man yeah most high in christ um we we done with the scripture but there was a little heavy part in in the in the, 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 the last portion of the scripture sir Go ahead, I mean, let's i don't get know it. if you let's get okay it. Come on, second thessalonians chapter two and verse four mm-hmm. who opposed and exalt exalted himself of all that is called god or that is worshipped so that he as god sitteth in the temple of god showing himself that he is god mm. Mm, mm, mm. ain't that what he doing now yeah, that's what he doing. <laughs> he's doing that now he, he's yeah, showing you like i'm i rule i can right. do anything you need anything come to me but guess what you gotta give up for it you gotta give up your sexuality. You gotta give mm. up your children. You gotta give right. up your wife. You gotta give up your life. You give up your soul. Don't get that money, sir. You gotta give up that oh, money. Oh, money, too. of course. Yeah, you definitely gotta get that up. Yeah, hey, what, what's <laughs> Christian say? This, here's the important part, Christians. It's not money is the root of all evil. It's not wrong with money. It's the love of it. There you go. That's what the scriptures say. Love of money is the root of all evil. Love you can't serve two masters either, I don't want. No, you cannot. And man, since you look, listen, since you go into that scripture, uh I always like to go to I think it's Isaiah 14, I think like 21 or 20. Isaiah 14 and 21? Yeah, I think it's 20 where it talks about um they will have no more sons and nephews. This is one of my favorite scriptures, man. Because they they are gonna they going this this is their future. This this is a you, scripture sir. that our people need to know. This is Esau. And if you go up further, when you talk, I think it's uh 14 and like 10 or so, one. it it gives you the true definition of Lucifer. Uh, it's 12. You want me to start at 12? Yeah, start at 12. Let's get it. Yeah, con, one concert. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son oh, of the morning? O oh, Lucifer. O oh, Lucifer, son of the morning. Now, they, the, the, the Christian church will teach you that Lucifer 
is like this scary demon that's the devil right <laughs> right that's what they say right the, the little monster oh, ah, ah, i'm gonna come get you all right so keep reading <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what thou cut down to the ground, which did it weaken the nations. Mm. Here's the kicker right here now. Go ahead. Verse 13. Mm -hmm. For thou art said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. See mm. that? That's whoever this is. That's straight related to what we were talking about in uh, Thessalonians, right? Can I, can I? Somebody exalting themselves above God sound familiar? He read. Cannot want can. I will sit. So like I will sit also upon the the mount of the congregation. Mm -hmm. So that means he's sitting over a congregation. Maybe forty four thousand of them. Yeah. <laughs> or more. Sound familiar? Right. <laughs> Scriptures are powerful, brother. Yeah, yeah, them right. Powerful. They they line up right with what the priests and prophets of the Lord be talking about. Keep going. It's like it's a, mm -hmm. in the sides of the north. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump all the way down to uh, verse 21, which is what you wanted. Give me um, I want is is this the the man? Yeah, I want yeah. that. I ain't want gonna say it. The just gave it up. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, you already knew where I was going. It's a lot. It's in the same. It's in the same chapter. Uh, yeah, it's in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, if you know it said, get it to verse uh, sixteen. Give me sixteen. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Isaiah chapter fourteen and verse sixteen. Mm -hmm. They that see thee shall narrow, narrowly look upon thee. Stop right there. Hold on. Say that part okay. again. <laughs> I don't can't say. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee. That's important. Right. <laughs> right. They that see thee is going right. to narrowly look upon thee. Meaning that the people that see whoever this is, this can't be a demon or an oogie boogie right. ghost. Right. They see you, right? And they looking at you like, man, who the hell is this nigga? Right. You know? <laughs> Go ahead. You can keep going. You, you, you were kind of breaking up. So like, um, I'm up there. Keep going. Yeah, I, uh, you want me to keep going or start over? You can start over. Okay, come on, come on. Isaiah 14 and verse 16. Mm -hmm. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee mm -hmm. and consider thee, saying, mm -hmm. Is this the man? Is this the what? Is this the man? Is this the what? Is this the man? This is Lucifer now, Christian. So like, this is the one that was supposed to be the monster, the demon. You said, is this, this scripture said what? Is this the man? Is this the man? Now, here's the thing about the Christian church. You've been teaching people for years that Lucifer is this devil, is this demon. The scripture just said, is this the man that people will look narrowly upon thee look at them look at this man like he's nothing right and he's been cast down he read can I one count is this the man that made the earth to tremble you remember how white supremacy used to tell you you better pay your child support we got a warrant out for your arrest right remember this I'm, I'm, I'm finna holler at y'all uh, 40, 30, 40, 50 year olds real quick. Remember they used to tell us that we weren't gonna make it past 21 in the 90s? Yeah, right. Remember that? that was the government pushed that. Remember the government said that crack, uh, people on crack were monsters? Remember when Hillary Clinton, uh, uh, Clinton said we were super predators? That's right, right. Now this man, said we were roaches. They said we was roaches. The lowest form of the earth, uh, form on the earth. Now, this scripture is talking about talking about a specific man that is in rulership that will be right. cast down, and now put, people are looking at him like, "Is this the man that made what? The earth to tremble? Made the and, earth to tremble? Go ahead. And did shake nation? They did shake kingdoms, Salaki. Everybody fears America. Why military? People feel Russia, why? The military and they power. 
America has power where? Bible Belt, Southern mm. Baptist Convention, Critical mm. Race Theory, Shut It Down, mm. LGBTQ, mm. Black Lives Matter. Do I have to keep going? People fear these things. What they call what they call the culture now? Council culture? Right. People fear these things. This is rulership. Lucifer is the rulership of white supremacy, man. This right. will be cast down. This is a prophecy. Okay. That white supremacy will be cast down. And, and they will be cast down so low that the white man will be looked at like, is this the man that made people fear and right. scared of him? Right. Now go to 21. Kind of one cancer. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 21. Prepare slaughter. Prepare what? That's right. Prepare slaughter. What is slaughter? A lot of killing, sir. <laughs> oh, not killing. <laughs> yes. right. That's a lot of killing. <laughs> yeah, a lot now, of this, now, this is the Lord saying this. All right. You right. need to prepare. Get yourself ready for slaughter. Read. Can out one con. For his children. For what? For his children. For what? For his children. For his children. We ain't even talking about the forefathers yet. So then when you're when that white dude wanna come down, I never did anything to you, man. You're my brother. No, the Lord <laughs> said prepare a slaughter for you. That's right. Remember this. Now let's see why the Lord said prepare a slaughter for you. Peyton uh Gendron, Dylan right. Roof. Right. I prepare slaughter for you. Let's read. Canada one con. Book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 21. From the mm -hmm. top. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. For what? For the iniquity of their fathers. Now, what do you think that iniquity was? What do you think that was against the law? That sin. What did they do so bad? To blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. To where the Lord says, prepare slaughter for their children. I'm going to tell you what. It's the same reason why we have to suffer for the things that our forefathers did. Right. Not going by the laws. Which caused us to not go by the laws. So why now we have to be punished. We have to live in hell. It's the same reason why they got to be, be prepared for slaughter. For what they fathers did. And what right. they fathers do? They fathers raped, murdered, lied, took advantage, and ate off of black suspense and native Indians. That's right. I mean, to the point where they took our babies and created sex trafficking rings. Y'all mm -hmm. remember in Washington, D.C., where all the like 15, 20 something sisters disappeared in two weeks? Yeah, count, count. Remember that? Remember yeah, when count. sisters was, was playing videos where Vans was following them to snatch them up? Gator bait? Well, you take... It, imagine this, man. But I can't even ask you brothers to imagine this. Don't listen to me. Because we can't even think like this. You take a baby out of a mother's arms at night, skin it like you skin a potato so it can bleed, and you tie a rope around it and throw it into the water in order to catch an alligator. You take a woman that is pregnant, cut her belly to where the baby comes out and dogs eat it. Or you cut her belly, then you shoot her, then you burn her, then you hang her. If you look at any ISUPK sign with those with those signs, lynchings. Where our sister, those lynching signs, when you see that sister on there with a dress, that's what happened to her. I forgot that sister's name. But that's how much our oppressor hates us, man. That's the iniquity of their fathers. Just right. a little bit. That's a drop. Right. That's not even going into what we don't even know about. Keep going. Khan out of one Khan. For the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise. Did mm. they don't know why what? That they do not rise. See, this is your prophecy, white supremacy. You're not gonna rise again. Right. You enjoy it. 
That damn right. Enjoy it, man. Right. Enjoy your heaven. Right. Look, y'all supposed to have a jet. Y'all remember the cartoon The Jetsons? I know yeah. the form, though. <laughs> yeah. The form about the same, man. We can relate <laughs> on a lot of stuff. Yeah. Remember the Jetsons? Uh, y'all saw? Yeah, come on. I remember it. <laughs> the flying cars and stuff. Right. Yeah. And the house is real tall and someone be flowing. And hey, right. where they stuff at? Where the flying cars at? This supposed to be their kingdom of heaven, right? Right. They're supposed to be having some magnificent things. You know what the scriptures say? I'm going to give y'all one thing. I know my brothers know. If anybody watching this that might not uh, be in the ICBK, but uh, you didn't heard this before, but you never really thought of it. The scriptures say we're going to have streets paved with gold. Damn right. Have you ever seen that before? Never. <laughs> Do you think we gonna make that shit? No. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We not, we not doing that. Right. Look, look, our brothers will get on a fifth of gin and take some hard pavement and put that, that hot ass tar pavement on that street, right? Now you think that's hard. Now take gold right. and make it into a street. Mm -hmm. Boy, you talking about justice? They, they don't have a kingdom of heaven, man. They they have a kingdom of Esau, bro. That's right. it. They don't even know what heaven is. They, they don't know what heaven is because they can't fathom what the Lord has in store for us. Right. Right. That's why it's so important that Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians come to the ISUPK and understand who you really are right. and what... Look, reparations ain't nothing compared to rulership. Right, yeah. right. We yeah, shouldn't man, be thinking right. about reparations. We should be thinking about rulership. Right. That rulership... Like the scriptures say, I'm paraphrasing, but it says Esau, it, it, uh, uh, Jacob's uh, rulership is forever. It's not for a little time like Esau. Our rulership is forever. Keep going. Come out of one con. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21 in the middle. Mm -hmm. That they do not rise, nor possess the land, mm. nor fill the face of the world with cities. Mm. All them statues... All them flags, any remembrance of you, it's gone. Right. You're gonna have to go to a museum to understand what a white what white supremacy is. Right. What their rulership was like. Yeah, Our right. children won't probably won't even believe that we was under the, the the slavery that we was under, that we was under the oppression that we was under, because of such power that we're gonna have in the kingdom of heaven. Damn right. Keep going. Cut out one concert. Verse 22, for I will rise up against them, mm -hmm. saith the Lord of hosts. Say of who? Saith the Lord of hosts. Say who? Saith the Lord of hosts. See, this is important for you Christians because I know what you're thinking right now. You like the Lord ain't say that. Mm. The scriptures <laughs> just said he did. Right. See, the thing about the ISUPK, man, they have taught us as priests and prophets of the Lord to break down the scripture line upon line here a little, there a little. That's right. We don't have to rush. What are we rushing for? Let me tell you something, man. Anytime, and you know, brothers, I'm not talking to y'all. Y'all, y'all know that. Anytime, brothers in the eyes, you know, anytime anybody is reading the Bible and they run and they reading real quick, don't trust their ass. Right. I'm just telling you straight up. Don't trust them. There's no reason why you should be rushing through them words. Like you know why they rushing through the words because they un they don't understand, don't understand what the words are saying. That's right. It's the only time people rush through words. In the ISUBK, we have scripture breakdown classes. Right. Scripture breakdown classes. We break down um. scriptures. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> it's, That's what it's, we do. Right. That's what we do. You know what right. I'm saying? We right. look, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm gonna give y'all a secret. The the students in the ISUBK, look, I'll give you a secret. Hope I don't get checked. Every class is actually a scripture breakdown class. <laughs> right. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Right. Even the Hebrew, the last one I could it's breakdowns. Right. Right. We we have such such hardcore breakdowns, and we're taught so well that and Naquan gonna back me up on this. We'll go to camp and fake Israelite groups. Or people that be hopping, I call them YouTube Israelites. Mm -hmm. right. They'll go to your camp and listen to what you're saying to steal your breakdowns. Yeah. Yeah. 
It happens That's every all we day. do. Yeah. That's all we do. If you look at Christ, imagine if a group of people were always trying to come around you to trip you up on your words. Because if they could trip you up on what you say, they could either kill you or lock you up. So what did what what was Christ mainly doing besides teaching his people? He was showing the Sadducees and Pharisees that you don't compare to me, that you can't trick me, trip me up, that what you're doing is a waste of time. Right. And I'm gonna show you how bad I am. And they never could trip Christ up. Why? Because he could break down anything. Right. Not just scriptures, life. That's how bad Christ was. And those things have been passed down all the way to the ISUPK. That's right. Why, why am I saying all this? Because it's important for you to really be paying attention, not just to me, to this brother, Officer Naquan, to this brother, Ayasa, uh, Ayasa Hall. For anybody in the ISUPK that's been taught on the command of Junior Honda, you need to listen to these precepts because anybody else, any fake Israelite group, any Christian, anybody that's even speaking on the street wasn't able to do that unless it was for commanding during your honor going to court even for that right anybody having a sign you got that from us those signs showing what uh showing you showing you the different things you can right for you to even take a school and start it you're doing the same thing john the baptist did the problem with Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians is that we hard-headed. We are a stiff-necked people, like Scripture says. If we would just listen to what the Lord wants us to do and follow Christ and understand what brotherhood is, what sisterhood is, which the church does not teach, doesn't even have an idea. I have literally asked a preacher, what is brotherhood? Do y'all teach brotherhood in y'all church? You know what he told me? Well, we don't really know what that is. He literally told me that. So if you don't know what brotherhood is, how the hell are you teaching the Bible? Right. That's all Christ taught. That's heavy, man. Damn right. I just wanted to take the time to say that because a lot of times, even when we breaking down scriptures, people don't understand the spirit of the Bible, the flow of the Bible. The flow of the Bible is you understanding the basics of what the Bible is and you know what the law is right so if you truly believe in the bible and you understand the law you'll never contradict what the bible is saying you just got to go to somebody above you that has more knowledge right and then you'll understand what it means that's all it is it doesn't mean you have to take something and go run with it and start your own school right you're adding to the problem but slacky i i i, I diverted a little bit let's get to the end of that because i it's, it's a, it's a, it's a part i want on here with them sons and nephews. I got to have it. Yeah, come yeah. on, cancer. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 22. Mm -hmm. For I will rise against them, mm -hmm. saith the Lord of hosts, mm -hmm. and cut off from Babylon the name and the remnant and the son and the nephew. Read that again. Lord. Read that again, Lord. This Read is the book of again. Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 22. Favorite For I will rise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, Go right there. Did it say that we have to go to war with them? No. Nah. Nah, Did it say that we have to rise up against them and fight them? I will rise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts. Saith the Lord of hosts. That lets you know right now, our fight is not a physical fight with white supremacy. I don't care what they do. We just have to gather ourselves together and go by the law of the Bible. You know why the Most High don't want us to do that fight? I know y'all brothers know. The reason why the Lord doesn't want us to take that fight, man, the Lord wants credit for all that. Right. He wants to destroy Esau more than we do. Right. He the daddy, man. Right. We're the children going through it. But how would you feel if somebody kept beating up on your son? Hmm. You're going to tell your son, back up, man. I got this. And you're going to try to annihilate whatever is in your face. That's right. right. Now read that second part, man. It's my favorite part. Yeah, cannot want cancer. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 22, in the middle. And cut off from Babylon the name and the remnant uh, and the son uh, and nephew, saith the Lord. 
if you cut off anyone remnant remnant if you look it up it's the the, the residue of what's left of something if you cut that off and then you cut the son off and then you cut the nephew off what do you have nothing let's say you got your women you have nothing because you cannot keep producing to 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 keep yourself as a nation right the lord is saying to us i'm going to punish these people vengeance is the lord's not ours. right we have to go by the laws and statutes of the bible us as priests and prophets of the lord we got to reveal the bible belt we got to reveal what uh captain Kapos talked about world war three right we got to reveal what uh captain katiza is about to bring out about columbus and, and captain uh i mean uh officer uh what's his name kazak from, from kazak yard uh, kazak yard the water yeah. from, uh, from cali california Con. Yeah. and i think it's another uh, captain ashaparium i think he's in there too yeah, Con. that's what we got to do that's how that's our that's our fight that's what we fight at like like the brothers doing right here um also as a with this unplugged from the matrix this is how we fight now the thing is we in here fight if you watching this and you are black hispanic or native indian brother or sister this is your refuge this is your answer i know you scared you hear about supply chain you hear about world war three you hear about russia you hear about it all this stuff probably even at your slavery you running out of stuff and don't know why right this is the only answer your christian church is not going to have an answer for you now i just showed you in isaiah what lucifer really was and that shows you that that's a lot of the christian church been telling you and i just show you what's going to happen to white supremacy now it's up to you what you're going to do about getting in this truth man you can play with it what you want if you want to but the lord does not understand lukewarm he's like either right. hot or cold if you look right. warm, he gonna spew you from his mouth. That's right. I'm gonna shut the hell up and let y'all speak. So like, I think you said everything, man. That we, you know, wanted to say. I just want to thank the brother for having us on here, for having you know, um, having us on this on this uh, podcast, man. This is a this is an important and special podcast, man. If people, you know, if you're not tuned, this is your first time tuning in. Tune into it, man. Share it to all social media outlets. You know, let the world know, man, that, you know, Unplugged out up uh, from the Matrix is here, you know, and it has information, man, that's going to save your life. You know, I came into the truth because I seen a video that a brother shared. I always tell everybody to share videos, man, because mm -hmm. it can actually save somebody's life. That's you right. know, it, it changed my life, saved my life, man, you know. So I just owe, you know, brothers and sisters that same respect by just sharing classes man and and podcasts and lectures and everything that has the information that has the truth in it you know so i just want to thank the brother for having us man you know um for having me and, and you know i'm sure he's gonna thank you also you know for giving the opportunity <laughs> you know right. to uh um, you know be able to push this lecture out damn yeah, right damn right so like I said, yeah. if you go ahead oh i was just gonna say man the brother's right man i want to thank you for having us man um I, I basically appreciate the opportunity just to uh be able to be on your platform and, and and tell people you know not just about the bible belt but all the details about it and also just as priests and prophets of the lord scriptures to back up what we saying that's right i appreciate that's you uh also how's the high straight up man appreciate you brother most high christ to all for you all coming on here man and letting our people know what's up you know what i mean and and for me i'm not gonna stop this you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna stop doing what i'm doing ever 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 i'm not living the truth i'm not going there's nothing that can sway me into going back into the world and being you know what i mean how nigga i i used to be you know what yeah, i mean right. as, as um officer naquan naquan said just just a while ago like i saw a video and at the back of the video you know when when uh, a UPK video the, the numbers scrolling up and stuff. Mm -hmm. yep. I, I was in the Caribbean and and I just chose a number and then I called a number and then I got you know what I mean <laughs> Captain Nata. <laughs> mm. That's right. it and, and and that's I'm here I am I, that's it you know what I mean so the work that we're doing is 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 
necessary for you know what i mean the, the upliftment of our people you know what i mean and and we we don't want our people to to to, to perish you know what i mean i wish that all of israel would be saved you know what i mean that's that's right. my wish right. you know what i mean from fake israelite groups talking about two fists gonna get caught off nigga you gonna get caught off if you don't come in here yeah, right, right. <laughs> that's right damn right you are that's right right you know what right. i mean so once again you know what i mean uh to water for 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 your brothers coming on and spending two hours with us you know what i mean excellent information you know what i mean burning the bible belt lecture by officer nashak uh, my <laughs> my, my, my thought. There Slack you go. You here. got it. You got it. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna say that, I'm gonna say that again. <laughs> Running the Bible down. You know what I'm saying? Lecture by Officer uh, M Nishak Maya Tha. There you go. Saturday, July 16th. Man, it's gonna be in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, 1811. Uh, what's that? Uh, Dr. D.B. Todd Jr. Boulevard. Okay, there you go. You know what I mean? It starts at 3 p.m. to 6. Man, I'm, I'm going to make sure that, you know what I mean, as, lo as long as the Lord allows me to and I have life, I'm going to come down there and support the brothers and, and, and be right there in the front row absorbing all that information from the lecture. It's going to be heavy. It's going to be too hard. You know what I mean? Anything else, brothers, before we close? Oh, that's all I had, man. Shalom, Israel. Thank you for your support. Man, I can't wait to see y'all, bro. That's right. Damn right. Yeah. 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 Ye